This is a digital thread model for this aerospace part and we're looking at it in the Step and See Explorer. Uh, at the heart of the digital thread model is design geometry for the part. We have associated tolerances. The tolerances are linked to the faces so we can reason about them. The design is also linked to the manufacturing process. Uh, the manufacturing process is broken into higher level operations called working steps. Uh, it is also grouped into work plans which may have different fixturing or what have you. Uh, the working steps all have toolpath information, tool information. Uh, there's beginning and ending shapes we can associate with them if we want to. Uh, tool geometry. Uh, we have speeds and feeds shared among the different working steps so we can see where everything's being used. Uh, it's all linked. And so we have with all of this, uh, including fixture information, which we see here, we have enough information to actually simulate the manufacturing. And we are doing uh, material removal calculations here. We have uh, the toolpath uh, position window that we're looking at, gives us the XYZ position of the tool, the IJK angle of the tool, the feed and speed that's uh, in uh, effect at a given moment. And so you'll, you'll notice that even though this looks like three axis machining, we're on this unusual fixture, so it's actually a five axis position. Um, the IJK is not zero, zero, 001. Um, and so we're also calculating toolpath cross-section information as we go along. Um, we're calculating the 3D removal volume and then we're projecting it down to a plane along the the direction of the tool motion. Uh, you'll see a, a 2D image of what that looks like down here. Um, and then we're calculating, uh, because it's it's difficult to use just the 3D volume directly, we're calculating some, some useful parameters for that. Um, we're calculating the axial and radial depth of cut. Um, offsets from the tooltip for each of those. Um, and then uh, the, the cross-sectional area of the, the entire uh, engagement and an XY offset for the center of that. And so these, uh, these cross-section parameters, um, they could also be stored in the file, but we're, we're calculating them uh, as we go along. Uh, and they, they enable uh, new applications. Uh, they, they enable us to close the loop here with uh, this model-based machining because we can use these to, to reason and do a better job at uh, predicting tool life, uh, to do a better job of uh, predicting tool wear, uh, calculating the, the forces on the tool at any given point, or the heat generated uh, by the machining. And so this, this really opens up uh, new possibilities. Um, having all of the, this model information linked and associated uh, gives us a broad new tool to apply. Um, we can also, if we take a look at this, we have uh, machine tool models uh, with associated kinematics. So we can apply that and simulate that on the machine. Um, this is a DMG that we machined this particular process on at uh, the most recent IMTS. Um, we can even use uh, anything that we have kinematics on and uh, we can experiment with uh, using this uh, uh, robot arm, this ABB robot arm. Um, and so we have all of this information. Uh, let's go back to the just uh, easier to see what we're doing here. Um, we have all of this information and it's associative. Um, we have 
models for each of the stages. Um, so we can we can simulate right through, or we can take advantage of this to to jump around. And let's go let's go a little bit forward here. Let's reset to the state of the removal at this point in time and begin simulating on this five-axis part of the process here. And so this model-based machining is really made possible by the standards that we're using that have been under development for the past 40 years. Um, they've been standardized by ISO. They've been agreed to by all the G7 countries. Um, they've been implemented by all the CAD vendors. Um, for, for design information, you can get that from anywhere. Um, we've been testing them with the machine tool builders. Um, the, the machine tool builders have, have demonstrated this at the past two uh, IMTS shows. Um, I'll leave some links at the end uh, where you can see some more information about what we've been doing uh, at those shows. Uh, we demonstrated uh, on, on machine inspection. Uh, we've demonstrated uh, machining alternatives um, using this rich uh, process environment uh, to, to capture more varieties of process. Um, different options for different materials um, and there's there are just many applications that are enabled by this collection of model based information for machining uh, so thank you for your attention and uh, keep in touch with us